Hey y'all, Greg here with Pragmatic Works, bringing you another Universal Design Quick Tips YouTube series episode. Today we're gonna to be talking all about fonts. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, what do fonts have to do with readability and accessibility? They can mean quite a bit. Not only from the font size, but the type of font you choose actually has a very meaningful purpose in Power BI and has a big impact on your end users. So let's talk all about fonts. Let's jump into it. I wanna talk about the main two types of fonts. There's sans serif, which is a font that is usually recommended because it typically has been reported that there is a little bit more readability from users with accessibility needs and just general use than the other font we're gonna talk about. The appearance of a sans serif font is very block-like and less decorative. And you can actually see that in the difference between the two fonts right here. The one we see at the very beginning that's sans serif, that is actually a sans serif font. The one below is a serif font. In serif fonts, the tops and bottoms of the letters contain pretty much these little feet. They're called serifs, but I call them little feet. And there are a ton of accessible serif fonts, but generally people tend to find them less readable because of that decorative element. And I'll be honest with you, teaching about universal design and accessibility in Power BI and the Power Platform here at Pragmatic Works, I have to do a little bit of just testing in-house with our classes. And we're gonna do that a little bit today. And I often find that most people find that serif font much more readable. So continuing on kind of in this, this concept here, let's actually take a d deeper dive into what these two look like. So here you can see outlined a sans serif font, which is a lot more block-like. We don't have those little feet. And the serif font, which has those little embellishments there. Now, does that look cool as a font, right? That could be true, but we're re really focused with our Power BI reporting on, yeah, we want a good looking report, but we also want it to be highly accessible to our users. That is the main concept in universal design. So let's test this out. We've got sans serif here, we've got serif. What do you all think? Let's actually test it out here before we look at some recommended. Take a look here. Out of the ones you see, what is ultimately more readable to you? And I actually have it in two different versions here. I've got 18 point for the font size and a 14 point bold. Now, if you look at both of these, if you mentioned anything in that top row, you have selected a sans serif font. The bottom two rows are a serif font. Now it's important to note that the size can also play a role and ultimately, everybody, the way they intake and read this is going to be unique. So you might have differences uh, in depending on what, kind of what you see, right? You might say, oh, you know, the, the fourth option is better for me. That can vary user to user, but generally we find those fonts tend to do better. Now, the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines is a great resource, even if you don't have to abide by it from a legal perspective, it's very important that you know this general rule for font sizes. So one of those is gonna be 18 point regular and 14 point bold. That is the general kind of suggestion for this type of font in the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2.1. Now things can update, things can change, more science can come about, but generally that's what we see with those font sizes. And that's exactly the rule of thumb we can bring into our Power BI reports. A couple more fonts to think about here. I'm gonna go back just one instance here. These are just some recommended fonts that you can take a peek at. Not all of these are gonna be super readily available in the Power Platform. Uh, highly recommended fonts here. The number one font that can be recommended is Verdana. It is used by a ton of accessibility sites and generally it's kind of the gold standard when it comes to readability. So Verdana is usually my go-to, it's a sans serif font again, uh, but you see a lot more here and just general use, even in your emails, PowerPoint, whatever you're using, this is something to keep in mind. There are plenty of other fonts not listed here even, 
uh, but we just have different degrees and readability. So my general suggestion is go with those highly recommended fonts. Uh, they tend to work out the best uh, from the majority of users. And there's a ton of great research being devoted into fonts um, that's worth checking out. All right, so let's get into it here. I actually prepared two reports for us today to take a peek at. And one of them is not maintaining uh, pretty much any changes. So fonts keeping with just regular use and size here. Uh, this right here, if we can identify, take a guess. Generically, by default in Power BI, you're gonna get a sans serif font, which is good. That's great for accessibility. And we can kind of see that here. But looking at this report, if you just take a moment to kind of see it full picture here, right, we lose some readability. And you know what, if we were to apply a blur here, we would see some pretty, uh, pretty significant changes. And you can think about this in the amount of readability this might have for your users. So it's very good practice to think about your fonts, but also consider 18 point uh, or 14 point bold. I actually did that on the exact same report here. It has some other accessibility features from our universal design class in Power BI on our on-demand learning. If you haven't already checked out some of the deals we got going on for our on-demand learning subscriptions, definitely please do so. It is definitely worth it. But take a look at this here, right? This has been designed to have that 18 point font or even more than that, or a 14 point bold. If we look at this comparatively, we really did not lose much real estate and the report is navigable. And even from a distance, if you step a few, a uh, few steps back, or if you even perhaps, uh, if you're using glasses, you take those glasses off, this is probably a lot more readable than the previous one um, that we just saw. So this is definitely just something to keep in mind with your report building. It's just an instant trick that we can use. And if your data is external facing data that requires some web content accessibility guideline uh, levels or is a part of section 508. It's really important that you integrate this into your Power BI report building. Well, just a quick tip for you. Uh, again, there is a lot more to dive into when it comes to accessibility in Power BI, and we really do so in our universal design course. But these are just some great suggestions to kind of get the ball rolling. Start changing up the way that you've traditionally done reports and maybe think about things in a different perspective. All right, I hope you've enjoyed our session here, just all about fonts, something you can instantly bring in, enhance your reports. This has been Greg with Pragmatic Works and stay pragmatic.